Hey guys, so I got this V part body wave unit from Eunice Hair. They sent me this a while ago and I am now doing a review for this. Honestly, because I didn't feel like taking my braids out, this took forever for me to figure out what parting space that I wanted to use. So you will see me struggle at the beginning of this video just to get that right. And I also didn't want to straighten my hair, so I had to definitely go in with, with my Marais hair gel and blend it in the best that I could. Um, you know, my hair, I feel like it only do so much. I really don't care if it also frizzes up. I'm just going to go with it and, you know, hope and pray that it looks uh, somewhat decent. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back with a new video and my forehead does a favor because again, I'm doing a V part wig, but this V part wig is actually from Eunice Hair. And what I like about this wig is that honestly, everything lays down extremely, extremely flat when it comes to this V part. I don't know why exactly that is. I feel like it's just because of how they make it, but it's made very, very thin. So I didn't even have to unbraid my hair. I just had to take a little bit of weave out and like, gel it over with my Marais gel. I don't have it with me at the moment, but that's why I was doing the video because honestly having to straighten your own hair for these, it's just really, really difficult. So um, this just makes it easier for you to go ahead and lay it down as flat as you possibly can. This is a body wave unit and it's also 24 inches. I just love the way that this looks. It has some nice body to it. It's not completely shiny so it still blends in with my hair i will say i probably should have gotten this hair in like a 1b to kind of match my hair color completely but i literally just gelled down my own hair to kind of blend it in with this body wave unit it looks really really nice it also feels great this is um also an average cap size for this hair um what i'll also say is what they threw in i'll show you guys some of the stuff that they sent me they sent me this really nice robe. It's sat, yeah, it's, it's a satin robe. It says Eunice on it, which is kind of cool. I will probably use this for whenever I am, like, I don't know, working on my units and stuff because I need something to kind of cover up my clothes whenever I'm doing that. And this might be perfect for that. So definitely keeping this, also keeping the bag. Um, they also sent me a wig cap for this hair, uh, ooh, an elastic band, which is kind of long. So I don't know if this is exactly for the unit or if it's for something else. I actually know what this is for. This is basically to um, hold down your edges and everything. Honestly, when I was doing this, I probably should have just used it, but it's just to put that down with your edges and everything to make sure everything lays down. People. I mean, if you don't do this, which I'm sure if you're watching my videos, you already do because you obviously are looking to wear wigs or you're already wearing wigs. But for those that don't um, have something like this, it's just to basically make sure that everything kind of melts down and doesn't lift up whenever you do the got to be glued. If you're having like a lace unit with this, it's more so to probably just lay your edges down after you put on your whatever gel that you use um, to keep this flat and everything. But yeah, y'all saw me struggling in the beginning of this video basically to make sure that everything kind of blends in. You really have to see what's best, what works with your hair. For me, I have like 4B, 4C textured hair, so it's more, well, I would say it's like, yeah, more so 4B, 4C, but it's mostly like on the kinkier side, so it doesn't really lay as flat, even if you straighten it. So you're gonna have to use a really, really, maybe a heavy duty hair gel or hair pomade to keep the, the hair is just laying down to blend in because, you know, especially if the weather gets kind of crazy outside, if it gets really humid, you're gonna need something to kind of just keep everything down. So I did the best I could. You can probably see like a little bit of what's going on here, but I wanted to keep as much of my hair to cover it as possible. It's not really that noticeable in my opinion. So, you know, whatever works the best, but I was able to cover this part and pull my hair over and just use the gel that way. Um, I feel like this looks a lot better than my other, uh, well, eye part hair install. This is a V part, but the eye part hair install that I recently just did was not that great. <laughs> I think this is, this looks a lot more flattering personally for me. Um, I probably could have put more baby hairs like in the front here, like going this way if I wanted to, but I just didn't do that. Um, I just kind of 
put everything down to the side, like right there. <laughs> and yeah, this hair, it just looks super flattering. Like, I just like how big it is too. Bouncy, I love like the pin waves or pin curls or however that looks. It just looks really flattering, it looks really cute. I probably would not do a middle part because I'm just, <sighs> My hair isn't at the point where I can just like straighten it, make it lay down super flat. I feel like a side part is my best bet when it comes to these types of units, and that's completely fine, honestly. Like, this looks super cute. I like this. I'm actually about to go take pictures, see how that looks. But, um, I don't know if I have that much more to say about this wig. Oh yeah, they also sent me an elastic band as well, but yeah, if you have natural hair, you are able to do this. I would just recommend using a hair gel, but if you have straight hair, it's a lot easier to match up the hair with, you know, whatever they give you. So what I will say is, is that you're working with a lot of hair. Um, the density is 150%, and um, it is a 24-inch unit, and also it is a V-part. Oh, the price of this is going to be $279.17. So, I mean, granted, you are getting a lot of hair. They're probably charging it by the length of this. This is definitely a lot that you're working with. It just looks really, really pretty. I really like how this is laying down on my on my head and everything. Again, I feel like this looks a lot more flattering than my last I part or V part hair video. This is clearly a V part wig, but for some reason, the way that they've made this is that it's super flat along the edges, so you don't have to worry about anything kind of like lifting up. Pretty much good to go. It's made in a very, very nice way. Yeah, be sure to go ahead and follow Eunice Hair down below. I'm gonna go ahead and link this unit that I got from them and be sure to go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna put all of the info also in the description bar as well and um, I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.